Welcome to Calvary. I'm Pastor Kate Zawicki, and I am one of four pastors here at Calvary. And besides leading our youth and family ministry, I also lead two groups that are caring connection groups. And one of them focuses on the goal to regularly engage peace. And that meets about monthly, and it's called Peace in the Storm. And we have another group that lifts up the importance of mental health care and support called Living in, in Finite Experiences. For short, we call that life, our life ministries. And this is my husband, Greg, who will be joining us in our service today. We thank you for joining us. During this time of service and worship, please know that we will share some words, some scripture, candle lighting, song, and prayer. And we're sharing it with you. We hope and pray that these offerings will meet you where you are, particularly if you are in a place that is leaving you asking, why? Why in a time when it feels like the rest of the world is celebrating without a care? Why do I feel like this? Christmas can be a painful time for some. It may be the first Christmas without loved family members who have died. It may be a time when another loss or brokenness is landing hard. It may be hard because it feels like this pandemic is without end. It may be a time that has always been difficult for you. The constant refrain on social media and television in stores and churches about the happiness of the season, about getting together with family and friends, reminds many people of what they have lost or have never had. The anguish of broken relationships, the insecurity of unemployment, the weariness of ill health, the pain of isolation, all these can make us feel very alone in the midst of celebrating and spending. We need the space and time to acknowledge our sadness and concerns. We need to know that we are not alone. Our spirits sink as days grow shorter. We feel the darkness growing deeper around us. We need encouragement to live the days ahead of us. So we are hosting this service to acknowledge all of that. The emphasis on family, on joy, on giving, on good cheer, can be difficult for those who, of us who have experienced loss of another through death, through relocation, or through broken relationships. And it can be difficult for those who live with depression or other illnesses, those who have no jobs or little money for giving, and those whose addictions make the emphasis on parties very stressful. So today, we gather to acknowledge our pain and also to op be open to a glimpse of the light of Christ. And so we start by lighting the Christ candle. This flicker of light will burn throughout our service symbolizing for us the light of Christ that shines and can never be extinguished. May the words, the music, the silences, and the flames open a channel in your heart to the warm, engulfing love of God. Let us open with a prayer. Let us pray. God of mercy, hear our prayer this day for ourselves and for our families who live with pain and with loss. We ask for strength today, courage for tomorrow and peace for the past. We look for light and brightness, yet walk in gloom. Come, gracious God, come in quiet hope. Come in gentle assurance and tender mercy. Come with healing to make us whole. We ask these things in the name of Christ who shares our life in joy and sorrow death and new birth, despair and promise. Amen.
And now time for a reading. Our first reading comes from the book of Isaiah. It was written at a time when many of the people of Judah had been taken as captive and into exile in Babylon and were feeling crushed and without hope. I invite you during this reading to close your eyes and envision opening your ears and opening your heart to these words of comfort, hope, and strength. Comfort, O comfort my people, says your God. A voice cries out, in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out, and I said, what shall I cry? All people are grass, their constancy is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, and the flower fades when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good things. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will fade and faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Sees lineage coming as seers of old had sung. It came a flower so bright amid the cold of winter. When had spent twas the night. Isaiah twas foretold. The rose I have in mind With Mary we behold it The Virgin Mother kind To show God's love aright She bore to us a Savior When had spent was the night this flower whose fragrance tender with sweetness fills the air dispels with glorious splendor the darkness everywhere true man yet very God from sin and death he saves us Lightens every load. O oh, Savior, child of Mary, who felt our human woe. O oh, Savior, King of glory, who dost 
cast our weakness known. Bring us at length, we pray, to the bright courts of heaven, and into endless day. A reading from the book of Matthew, words of blessing. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the reign of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the word of the Lord. Now we turn to a time of lighting and remembering. We will light four candles to help us remember both our pain and the hope of our faith. We light these candles to remind us that nothing, nothing can banish the light of Christ from our lives. The first candle we light to remember those whom we have loved and lost. As we light it, may those from your life, their name, their face, their voice, their memory, come to mind and draw them near to you. If you are able, take a moment to say their name aloud. Let us pray. God, surround those we have loved and lost with your eternal life. Amen. The second candle we light to redeem the pain of loss. The loss of relationships, the loss of jobs, the loss of health. We pause to gather up the pain of the past, to offer it to God, asking that from God's hands we might receive the gift of peace. Let us pray. God, refresh, restore, and renew us, and lead us into your future. The third candle we light to remember ourselves this Christmas time. We pause and remember these past weeks and months, the disbelief, the anger, the down times, the memories shared, the love and prayers of family, friends, and even strangers, all those who have stood with us. We pause to remember and give thanks for the support that we have received. Let us pray. God, we remember your promise that the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness will never extinguish it. Amen. Amen. The fourth candle is lit to remember our faith and the gift of hope. 
we remember that God, Emmanuel, is with us. Though the loss of those we love and the frightening and disappointing events of our lives, through the loss of that, God is the light, and in God there is no darkness. Let us pray. You are the light of the world. Be the light in our darkness, O Christ. Stand, weary traveler, searching for the way to go. Stranger, heavy hearted, longing for some one you know. to guide you home. There are weary travelers searching Thank you for joining us for a time where we prayed for ourselves, for our loved ones, and for the peace proclaimed by the Christmas angels to come throughout the whole world. Let us now close with a prayer and a word of blessing. Let us pray. God of great compassion and love, listen to the prayers of your people. Grant to all, especially the bereaved and the troubled ones this Christmas, your blessing and your hope, your joy, your love, and your peace. As we pray together the prayer your Son, our brother Jesus, taught us how to pray. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, earth, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. bread. And, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For, for thine is the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory, and the glory forever and ever. ever. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. 
May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you ever his peace. Amen. The light has splintered the darkness. Hope is ours once more. The light has called us forward, remembering the past and walking confidently into the future. Go from this holy time and space filled with hope, peace, and love. God's gifts to us all.